Hi, my name is Blanca Gonzalez, I'm 45 years old, and I'm going to talk about my experience with COVID. So, my experience with COVID, and first of all, I can use three words, it'll be scary, humbling, and lonely. Scary, okay, because it's a virus that still, you know, scientists, doctors don't know, you know, what's going on. And um, as far as, you know, how it's going to affect somebody, um, some people don't have symptoms. Some people have symptoms, mild. <clears throat> some people get hospitalized. And then some people get hospitalized, recover, and some die. So that's the scary part of that. Basically, you're at your most vulnerable stage when you're in the hospital. And um, you're basically at the mercy of the staff. Uh, right now with COVID, if you're in the hospital, staff is barely coming in to talk to you. Uh, they'll come in and do everything all at once. And um, then they'll walk out the least time possible. And they'll tell you, I'm trying to be in here the least time possible. So. Uh, there were instances where I would call to get a bedpan because I could not get up and walk. I was too weak, and every time I got up and walked, my oxygen level dropped. So I couldn't, so I had to call and use a bedpan. And um, that is a very humbling experience for anybody to have to, you know, urinate and have a bowel movement inside a bedpan. Um, there were times when I would call, and I was told they'll be there in They'll be there in a minute. And time would walk pass by and no one would show up and I would end up having to have an accident on myself. That alone is very humbling for anybody, for somebody to walk in and see you soiled and have to help you. What do I do for treatment? Okay, so at home, uh, basically continue to use the oxygen. When I got home, I was using the oxygen. Um, I have physical therapy right now. It started off at three times a week and now it's, um, two times a week. So take my medicines. Um, I do breathe in treatments as needed right now. I'm not doing them scheduled. I'm doing them as needed. So I do, uh, them when I'm feeling, um, like I'm short of breath. And so... What else? Doing my breathing exercises with the incentive spirometer. Um, continue to eat, get strength back, which I have. I've gained some weight back. Um, and my legs have their muscle back again. So that's a good thing. Not the weight thing, but. Ooh. Relaxing. Turn. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do the you step ups. Up. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, so I'll step it up. One, two, four. Count for me, because I can't. Two. I'm doing that wrong. I'm sweating already. Your hair's been back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, I stand up. <laughs> Give me a second. My legs are. The, the legs are, are strong. I'm no longer using the bedside commode to lift. I can now sit on the toilet and stand up. 
So that's a plus. I'm just still working on the shower chair. And um, <clears throat> right now I'm not, I use the oxygen at nighttime sometimes, and I am now not using it. I only use it when I'm doing housework. If I'm gonna do housework, I'll put the oxygen on because the more oxygen I have on, the, you know, the, it gives me more, you know, more energy and I'm able to do more things and I don't get as tired as quick and my oxygen doesn't drop. So if I'm gonna wash dishes or something, I'll go ahead and put that on or if I'm gonna wipe down a table or do anything like that. And with the physical therapy, I have to have oxygen on. This is what I want you to do. This is the way you need to be doing it, okay? Because what I'm saying is not correct. Step up, up. You do 10 going, starting with this foot, and then 10 starting with this foot. Okay? okay. How many more? So. I only need five, though. Okay, then five and one. Okay. Starting with one, five and starting with the other. Okay, so we start with the right foot. Right foot? Yes. That, that, that left foot. You start with the left foot, continue. Uh, uh. eerie was it to be in the hospital if it was so many infected well so knowing that you're on a COVID floor of course just being in the hospital alone was scary but I'd be there at night or during the day and I would hear codes code you know rapid response which that one is you know someone's in distress and they need help they're still breathing but it can turn into a code blue. And of course, code blue, they're not breathing. So I heard multiple codes on my floor. Um, so I knew that, you know, people were at that point where either they were going to survive or not. The rapid response, it meant that they were most likely going to get intubated. Um, so that was scary in itself. Uh, there were times when I would hear the codes and I'd look and they'd say room, you know, three something. And I'd still look to see if it was my room. Even though I was fine, I would still look and see, is it the code in my room? Is there something going on that I have no idea that's going on with me? And they're calling a code on me. Did you get that off Oh, I didn't know who was on Sorry. Sorry, I messed up. Is this your water or mine? It's mine. Okay, get it away from me. You have water? No, but you're bringing my water. Yes, my princess. I'm gonna go faster. This isn't. I don't feel like. I mean, I know I'm sweating already, but. I feel like it's not. As long as you're comfortable. You're not going to pass out. No, okay. I'm going to go faster. I told you to. No. Nah. Okay. You can do books. You used to work with it. Texting. 
What would I say is the best to prevent this? <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I thought I did everything right before I got sick. I was washing my hands, wearing my mask. So I don't know. I would say just continue to do that and continue to be, you know, keep yourself distant or go into crowds, uh, you know, don't go to the bars clubs I don't do that anyway but I would say that um, continue to practice you know good hygiene and wash your hands all the time and wipe things down which I did at work I wiped down my computer my desk my phone um, I wore my mask so I'm not sure what you can do to prevent it you know continue to do it but I thought I was doing everything to prevent it and I still got sick so who knows? Hopefully they come up with a vaccine because I don't want to get COVID again. <laughs>